everybody. How are you today? Can I make this straight? Or are we just going to be crooked? For our whole lives, we're just going to be crooked. Because I think all of my videos are probably just a little bit crooked. Look, I made it worse. I really am going to try to make it straight. So this is what we're going to make today. So I, I, I just wanted to play. Oh, that's almost straight, isn't it? <laughs> I wanted to play with the blending brushes. I got to be honest. That's all I wanted to do was play with the blending brushes. But then I thought it needs something else. I can't just blend that background together because it doesn't really look all that cool. So then I put the bokeh dots on there. So are you guys ready to play with blending brushes and white craft ink? I can talk to you all day long about white craft ink. Well, maybe not all day long. But <laughs> I do have, since it's been a few days since I've seen you or talked to you. Um, um, let's see. I am trying my very best. Hello, everybody. Hello, Beth. Hello, Mary. I'm trying my very best to get ready for my event on Saturday. So I'm having an event. It's at our Sunny's Barbecue. It's going to be awesome. And I have the projects ready. I need to get, have our treat bags. I just got all the product. I got to put all that together. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I love the blending brushes, Phyllis. You are correct. They're so much fun to play with. They really are. If you don't have some, you need to get some. You get three in a pack. And they are... $12. But I don't know how many colors you'd actually, I mean, you probably, three would probably be plenty because you can wash them out. Um, 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 just with water. You just rinse them with water and leave them flat like that to dry. So I'm going to start. Here's my colors. Here's our color combo. Yes, Debbie, it's this Saturday. It's called Stamp Out Winter. Today we have Pear Pizzazz Blushing Bride, which you probably cannot even hardly see, that label, and Seaside Spray. It's on my um, business page. It's on this page, Debbie. Um, so we're going to start with the um, Pear Pizzazz. And it doesn't really matter what color you start with. But you just tap your um, brush in there. Um, give it a little... tap on the side to get rid of that heavy, heavy ink, and then just blend a little. And you can do it wherever you want, as dark as you want, as light as you want. Debbie, I can always do you a to-go pack if you want to do a to-go pack, okay? If you can't. I have to see if I have any extras. Um, and then we're going to use Blushing Bride. Is that what, what I said it was? Yep, that's what I said it was. Blushing Bride. So we're just going to, we're just going to do this one. Um, so how many, I am new to this craze, but how many of you have heard about Bombas Socks? B-O-M-B-A-S. So, it's a nice little company. No, they're decently priced socks. Whew. And by decently, I mean they're high. But let me tell you, I got a pair of Bomba socks on my feet, and my feet are happy. My feet like these socks. Now, their, their gimmick, I suppose it's a gimmick, is for every pair of Bomba socks that you buy, they will give a pair to homeless people. And so, you know, I'm all for that. So, so this one, I don't tap off because it's not very dark. It's seaside spray. It's not very dark. So I don't tap it over here. Because I don't think I have to. <laughs> Personal preference, if you want a lighter seaside spray, you might want to tap it off before you start. So, 
Hey, Kathy. So yeah, I got Bombas. I got Bombas socks and Bombas underwear. Woo! Ladies. You need some Bombas underwear if you don't want the socks. You definitely need some underwear. Woo! This is just comfy. Look at, look at how pretty that is. Okay. So now we're going to do some green over here. Let's see. What else do I have to tell you about... Anything else happened in my life? I don't know if anything else happened in my life. <laughs> I'm really not a very interesting person. <laughs> oh, I bought a my pillow. My pillow. Yeah, that's that's the guy that canceled, right? My pillow. Um, I bought a, a mattress topper. It's a three inch. Pillow top. Oh my. I sleep like a baby. Not that I ever had any problem sleeping at all. So you just blend and blend and and blend some more. However you want it to look. We're gonna change the whole look of it in a second. With that uh with the white craft ink. So get some more seaside spray over here in the corner. So is everybody having a good celebration? I've been wondering about those socks. Ooh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and you know what I love, Kathy? Let me tell you what I love about the Bomba site. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just go look at the site and look at their pictures of the underwear. Here's why I love it. And this is going to sound stupid, but you know what? It doesn't have any models on there that are pixie size. These are all like real people, you know, like my size. And you're, I don't know how, I don't know how big you people are. Well, some of you, I know who you are, but, um, some of you I've seen in person. Some of you I have not. Um, but they are real people. They're not models, apparently. Anyway, so I appreciate that. Because I don't need to know how they're going to fit on my granddaughter, who's four. <laughs> you know, I kind of need to know how they're going to fit on, you know, the curves, if you will. Okay. So, there's our just blended piece. Okay. So, again, we used Blushing Bride, Pear Pizzazz, and Seaside Spray. Well, hello to you in Australia. And... Now, we're going to use white craft ink. Now, I know, I have a really old white craft ink. They still sell it. When you get the white craft ink pad, there is no ink on it. It comes with a refill. You have to do it yourself. Okay? So, you'll get an empty ink pad, and you'll get a white craft ink refill, and then you do it. Okay, so let me sh let me show you this. Okay, I have my thing. Okay. This ink, have you ever used a real inker? A real re-inker, I mean, it's runny like water. Okay? This is not that. When you, like, you kind of, you really have to squeeze it. And you see how it's not sinking in? This stuff is thick. I don't know if you can see just how thick it is. It's thicker than syrup. I'd say like Cairo syrup. How was that? Is that a good description? I think. So, when you put your craft ink on your pad, then you take the back of a spoon or this is the best, a Pampered Chef scraper. I used to sell Pampered Chef, so I have some of those. So you just rub the craft ink into your ink pad the way you would any other ink pad. Then you set this down someplace because you can't wash it off and try not to make everything messy. Huh. Okay. So I'm going to use a sponge dauber to make the um, bokeh dots. I have a template. And my template is a window sheet. Okay. And I have used the layering circles, and these are the smallest three layering circles. 
and I've just cut them out of the window sheet. So I'm just going to lay this down on here and I'm going to use the, I love pepper chef actually. <laughs> yeah, molasses, that kind. So I'm just going to use the sponge dauber to get the white craft ink onto here. Now, one thing you want to do is you're going to want to hold really tightly so your paper doesn't move. Okay, so just put your fingers right on here and hold tight. Get some white craft ink on there. You can put it off to the side if you want, um, but then you're just going to rub on your circle. Now, there's different ways to do this, and I will do it a couple different ways. So, there's one circle, and I'm going to, there's a lot of ink on there. I'm going to see if maybe I can't get, get some of the ink off there. Okay, so the next way that I'm going to do this, now be careful of that, because it'll, like when you put your, don't smooge it. Because that's not dry. It takes a while for craft ink to dry. Okay? So just don't put your window sheet down and then move it. You can lay your window sheet down, but just then pick it up. Okay? So I'm going to use the small one over here. I didn't re-ink it. I should have enough. And then I'm going to do the big one over here. Because some of the bokeh dots, you just want them to kind of be almost a hint. Like, I can kind of see that there's a shadow, kind of, you know? Okay, so then here's another way you can do it. Watch this one. We'll put the little one up here. I want to put a little bit more ink on here, and then I'm going to dab it. Now this is going to leave it darker, so you're going to have a darker circle right there. But isn't it cool the way you can make the different shades of white? And you can do as many or as few white circles as you want. I always like to put some right on the edge because, you know, bubbles don't just randomly stop, right? In the middle of your paper, they're going to go all over. I'm going to put another one down here. That's really wet. <laughs> I'm just going to try to not smudge it. How's that? Every one of them will be different. There is no way in the world you could make any two of these the same. So there's my bokeh dots. And it's a fun technique. I, I like to do this. So I'm going to lay this over here for a minute. Stay. I'm going to cover up this white sticky craft ink. Okay, now I told you, right, that this is not dry. The white dots, they're not dry. So leave them be for a minute, or 12, or as long as you can. Okay, so this is going to be our um, sentiment. And today, we are going to stamp with Melon Mambo. And we are going to stamp the sentiment from Friends Are Like Seashells. And it says, look, I've got ink all over myself. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. Isn't that so sweet? Now... This is an amazing stamp set. Look at all of these different stamps that are in it. There are also dies. <laughs> no, it's okay for swaps, Phyllis. It's perfectly okay. They're not going to be exactly the same, but it's a perfect card for a swap. I did one like that, by the way. It's a perfect card. Um, This die right here cuts out... What does it cut out? Oh, so there's an embossing folder. I bet. Like, I'm trying to... My, my brain's not working. 
I'll show you the whole thing. So there's an embossing folder. And after you emboss it, do I have one that's embossed already? Did I play with it? I thought I did, but I don't see it. Okay, so you emboss it, and then you cut it out. Or you cut it out, and then you emboss it. My bad. You cut it out, then you emboss it. So then all of the little details are going to be shown. Okay, I'm going to show you one. This is a sneak peek of Saturday. Sneak peek for Saturday. See, you can, um, you see the seashells? How they're embossed? But the dye then actually cuts out the seashells and the, all of that stuff. Cuts it all out. It's so cool. It's one of those things you gotta play with. And I haven't played with it enough to speak smartly about it. <laughs> okay, so let's get our sentiment on here. And hopefully it's straight. Oh, I think I did good. I think I got it straight. Um, and for the magic of television, <clears throat> I have stamped three seashells. Or starfish. They're starfish. I stamped them with crumb cake and I cut them out and I used the Wink of Stella on them. And those are what's going to go on here. Um, and that dye, it does line up and it lines up well. However, um, there's only one way. All five of those arms of that starfish are not the same they're not they they look the same they are not so you have to spin that die all the way around to make it fit that's why i cut those out first i didn't want did not want to look inept i i might be but i didn't want to look it uh, now i'm looking for glue like i know i have glue okay so we're going to put the one flat down on here. We're going to pop the second one up. And then we'll put the one on the other side. And then hopefully that'll be dry enough that we can put our card together. But these little starfish are super cute, especially when you put the Wink of Stella on them. Can you see it's shiny? I don't know if you can even see it, but it's super cute. Okay, let's get this on here. Um, I'm using dimensionals on the back. You guys know to use the extra part of this dimensional, right? When you use the ones that are already pre-cut out, don't throw this away. This is like gold scissors gold I tell ya okay so let's see I told you about oh you know what else you know what I got in the mail today from Amazon how many of you are like me and get tired of going to the store for silly stuff I Amazon delivered me toilet paper today I haven't turned that off so, they brought me toilet paper again. I like not having to go to the store. I totally believe in Amazon subscribe and save. <laughs> you see, can you see my little booger on my card? Do you see it? I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to cover it up. See, I don't know what it is. But it's gone. Don't you just love that? I just covered that little booger right up. It was not a booger. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I do not know what it was. Okay. So I'm going to layer this on Seaside Spray. And then I'm going to layer it on Crumb Cake.
finish off our card. I didn't quite get that in the middle, but it's okay. Yeah, well, okay, you should know something about Sandra Hernandez here. I do not do hard things. I do not. I don't like them. I don't like to teach them. So, I might teach you something that looks like it was hard. But, <laughs> inevitably, it's not hard. Um, so, let's stamp the inside of here because we can't have a naked card, right? No naked middles. No naked middle. So, we're just going to put a few starfish in there. And that's it. I put one on the other side. That's it. Just a few little starfish. And now we don't have a naked middle. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. So, there you go. There's my card for today. I hope you like it. I hope it didn't cause you too much angst not being um, live for the last couple days. <laughs> I've had a ton of things going on. But, I'm back now. So, Thanks so much for hanging out with me just a little bit and making this cute card. And if you make one, I want to see it. I'd love to see your blending with the brushes and the bokeh dots. I'd love to see it. Okay? So feel free to share with me. I'd love it. Okay? And I will see you guys tomorrow probably. Okay? Bye-bye.